Today's video is going to absolutely suck because we're going to be talking about vacuum tables and whether a vacuum table upgrade is right for your hobbyist or your beginner CNC. Now, I have three CNC's currently that all have vacuum tables on them. They're the more industrial type CNC's, so you have these big motors. What we're gonna be going over today is the vacuum tables that actually fit on your CNC, whether it turns your whole table or just part of your table into a vacuum type table, and if that's a worthy investment for your beginner or hobbyist CNC. And the first thing we wanna do when evaluating any upgrade, especially CNC upgrades, is just to do the math, right? Take all the emotion out of it. Don't worry about what you've seen somebody else do or how cool it looks or how, how colorful it is, right? You wanna know the numbers because math doesn't lie and facts don't have feelings. So the first thing we wanna do is see how much this upgrade is going to save us. And I don't even have one of these, but I've just seen so many videos of different type of hold down systems and people using them. So I thought, heck, let me make it and show you how I evaluate the cost from a business perspective, not from a fun perspective. So the first thing we want to do is see how much is this going to save us. So for simple math terms, let's assume this upgrade is $1,000, right? 1,000 big ones. So the first thing I do when I look at these numbers is I go, okay, how much time does it need to save me to recoup my money? Okay, so imagine you're charging $25 an hour for your work. So $1,000 is what it's cost you, right? Divided by what you charge per hour is gonna take 40 hours of labor or 40 hours of labor saved 40 hours saved to recoup that $1,000. So this upgrade needs to save me 40 hours. And to go a little bit farther on this, this upgrade needs to save me 40 hours in one year. And why do I do a year? Because I like a year time frame. because if you do it over three years, you don't really see the immediate impact, things could change. And so I always do everything in a one year time frame because it really helps me make better business decisions. So we got that 40 hours saved, right? And now we've done a little bit of research and we know that this thing is probably gonna save us a few minutes on our change out times because what it does, right, if you've seen the videos, it sucks down your material and you no longer have to have clamps, right? Cool, so your old change out times were taking about five minutes, let's say, right, to unclamp the thing, put the new thing in there, tighten it down, get it positioned right, blow off the dust. And with that vacuum table, it's only gonna take you two minutes with this vacuum table. So your total time saved from getting this vacuum table is three minutes per product change out. Because once again, old way took five minutes, new way is gonna take two minutes, right? You turn off the vacuum table, you take your product off, you blow it off, you put your new product on, you click go, and it's ready to go and it's holding everything down. So let's just say for fun facts, it's gonna save you three minutes. So now what we're gonna do is take the three minutes, which equals one change out in our CNC, and sometimes you maybe even do this with an automatic tool changer, but I'm not going there yet. But you know, one change out takes three minutes. Okay, so how many change outs can you do in one hour? Well, there's 60 minutes in an hour, so you know that there's 20 change outs per hour, right? That you can do, okay? Since, you know, change outs every three minutes or 60 minutes an hour, you have 20 change outs per hour. All right, follow me so far? Cool. Now, now that you have 20 change outs per hour and you wanna save 40 hours, that means you take your 40 hours that this thing needs to save you in a given year, right? 40 hours at this vacuum table needs to save you because you charge $25 an hour for your time. You multiply that by the 20 change outs per hour. Okay, and that's going to give you 800 change outs. So what does this number mean right here? What that 800 change out number means is that in a given year, you need to at least do 800 change outs on your CNC for this to be worth it. So that's really like 16 change outs over a given week, right? And so like, let's say every product has one change out, right? You stick it on the CNC, it cuts out something, you take the product off, you stick the next product on and it cuts it out. So that's 16 products a week, which equals 800 change outs in a year for this cost to be justified, for this $1,000 to be justified. And why? Because that's the math, right? You need to save the 40 hours. You know it's gonna save you 
three minutes per change out because it's not like you can just instantly take the change out time from zero because you still have to take stuff off and blow dust off because CNC's cause a lot of dust. And so all of that math says you have to do 800 change outs per year. Now this math can vary for you because the, maybe the upgrade costs more or you charge more per hour, but that is how I look at this type of CNC upgrade. And so you may say, you know what? I am making 800 different change outs in a year, 800 different products in a year. And so this does make sense. The next thing I would recommend you do is do a lot of research on it. So like, is this number right? Do I actually know that this is actually two minutes or is there some unforeseen cost that I'm not thinking of, right? Like maybe this vacuum table is great, but like now it, it, my work slips every once in a while and I ruin a project. Well, how do you factor that into the cost, right? Do you have enough utilities? Do you have to wire something in? So now it doesn't cost you $1,000, it costs you $1,200 because you have to buy different electrical equipment and whatnot. So that's just something to be thinking about when you're doing that research is, are the numbers that I thought were correct, correct? Is that $1,000 the correct number? Is that change out time that I'm saving the correct number based on my research and based on talking to a community? So that's the next thing you wanna do. And the last thing you wanna look at is look at your current situation that you're in. So right now your change out times, let's say are those five minutes that I talked about. Well, how do you get down that change out time? Maybe from five minutes to three minutes where that vacuum table maybe only saves you a minute per change out. And so like this jig right here that I, I made for my docking stations way back when, it has, I, I screw this down to my table. I put my docking station in there and then I just turn this little lever and it holds everything down and the docking station's not moving, right? And so this is a jig that I did that really helped me hold my materials down. And so for my smaller CNC, when I was trying to do this math on if a vacuum table was worth it for my smaller one, and it was worth it at the time, but then I figured out that I can actually make my different jigs a lot quicker and the change up times less. And so therefore I didn't need to get that vacuum table until I bought a four foot by eight foot CNC because I wanted to hold down all the pieces and the math actually made sense. So I hope that just clears up a lot of the emotional side of how cool some of these upgrades are. This is gonna be the first video in a series of videos where we're gonna talk about different CNC upgrades. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. And remember guys, if you're making a business decision, numbers don't lie and facts don't have feelings. And that's all guys. Remember, if you ain't cutting it close, you ain't cutting it right.